The next decision is defining how you're going to deliver your products in the target market, that is, the distribution strategy. And basically, this decision will define how you build your, mar build your marketing channel channels in the foreign market, and this will apply on the market coverage, so how many people in the target market will have access to your products, or in which types of uh, points of sales your products will be available, and also will drive the consistency of your distributors and uh, your marketing positioning. The three options available are intensive distribution, in this case, you're going to develop channels focusing on popular retailers. The idea here is to target and sell your product everywhere. So basically here, your, um, your operations, you deliver these products in every shop that you can, in every supermarket, in every place. Your idea here is to reach the mass market and the idea is to cover the entire or a huge portion of the market and selling your products all over the country. Especially, this approach can be really costly if you're operating in huge countries with a large territory. And also, this, will, this can have a similar cost if you're operating in small countries because uh, the, the size of the country, the no, number of shops that you need to be present will be really important for that. The second op option is the selective distribution. In that case, you're going to narrow your focus, trying to develop channels more focused on specialized shops to get closer to your target market. So probably you're going to enter in just some shops related to your product, to, um, to cooking, to uh, food or special food, but you're going to enter in many different points of sale. And your focus here is to gain synergy with the original brand positioning, while at the same time, you're trying to reach more customers in the market. Um, this approach presents average levels of market coverage. It means that uh, you're going to reach more customers uh, than the, the third option that I'm going to present, but, but you're going to, um, to reach less customers than the intensive distribution and the cost usually will be uh, at med medium, so it will be like an average or medium cost. In the exclusive distribution, you develop channels focused on unique and hair distributors in specialized locations or shops. Just in some few cities, some few regions, you're going to have um, your business selling your products with shops there. Um, your goal here is to reach high income and status seeking customers uh, try to, to be present only for this target market. The uh, levels of market coverage will be really um, low compared to the other options, and the costs can vary according to the standards of living in the country. In rich countries, it can be really costly to develop a fancy and luxury shop in the best regions of, of the country. In other countries, more poor countries, this approach is not so costly um, compared to the amount of money that you need to invest when you enter in high-income countries. To wrap up, we have here this slide explaining the main concepts in these three types of decisions and how these will lead you to the different performance and market positioning strategies. Then you can go to the input decision step and enter your decision. Here, the fifth decision is related to the distribution strategy. And if you click here, you'll be able to see the three options available. As you can see, you can select these three options. And let me, let, uh, let me continue with one example. For instance, um, I'm planning here to use a skinny strategy. So it means that I'm going to have something that is fancy and luxury uh, in the beginning and use influencers and celebrities in the beginning of my product life cycle to spread my idea to the entire market. But I'm not trying just to focus in this group. So um, in that case, I don't think, uh, for instance, I may think that intensive distribution is not okay because I'm not trying to reach everyone. I'm trying to, to reach mainly the new middle classes and mass affluent customers. Uh, so 
Let's think about the two options, selective distribution and exclusive distribution. If I'm trying to reach more customers, then the scheming up, uh, with the scheming approach, for instance, this may um, tell that the exclusive distribution is not a good option because I'm going to have just few shops in specific areas. In that case, maybe that I believe that selective distribution uh, is more linked to my scheming strategy because I'm going to have space for selling my products in other areas for mid new middle classes and some, some uh, people willing to pay more for the product. So I believe that selective distribution can be okay. And of course, I can try different uh, alternatives to see the cost of each of these options, okay? But I'm going to choose the selective distribution. And then we finish this new decision the fifth decision of the global, the play globally simulation.